Class three, Coco, the American Bulldog. Today we're putting a muzzle. I have to get deeper into this, but with these kind of cases, we have to be patient because we have to play God now and overcome nature. This is a panic attack. These guys who go through this nervous pressure, even at three months old, he started attacking things seriously. You know that's a problem as an adult. Genetics all the way. So right now I gotta play God. <laughs> so little by little, today with the muzzle, I'm gonna try to take pressure off him and get in there and touch him. And by the end of this class, hopefully sit there and just pet him and he takes it. We'll see. Here we go. Stay right there. We move. Now the head. Not once yet has he tried to attack me. All right, so now I try to touch him. But he, right, right, he's ready to lunge at me. He knows I'm coming in to touch him. There's no way you're gonna let me touch him. All right, see? The muzzle to settle him down so I can get in there. He's allowing me no tightness on the line. Not to hold him in place. He's doing it, allowing me. But I gotta settle him and make him comfortable with the touch. Here he doesn't even care anymore. It's perfect. And then here, Ariel's just putting a little tension when his head comes this way, but then it's loose, no tension on the line. And he's not trying, he's not trying to come after me. He hasn't, perfect. Good boy, perfect. All right, let me move. All right, so first things first. Me walking with him in the street and I need to be able to touch him and rub him for him to relax and calm down from the side and he took it completely. Perfect, no issue whatsoever, not one attack, not one growl. Now that's the first, but here it's that front pressure that I gotta get him over. So we had some good. Now, you see that jump? The nerves, his nervous pressure, right? Underneath, so with him, right? I, I gotta make, right, there we go. Let him go, there we go. Right, you see I touch his cheek, boom, the flinch. And then you, you saw on my other videos where they folded, when I went after them with the pressure, with the sleeves, mm -hmm. and the dogs just laid down and fell and folded, <laughs> same. So he just gave in and just folded up. Can't bite me, can't fight, might as well just quit it. <laughs> All right, see that jump? Ooh, you see that, you see that go? <laughs> Again. The more I'm coming in. Now you see that? Man, the moment I touched him, the big jump. Yeah. Woo! And I want everybody to realize 
I think a lot of people think when they see these things on my video, when the dogs jump like that and we're showing the nervous pressure, that it's what we're putting them through that's creating that. That's life. He lives with that all the time, 24 hours a day. That's not because I'm putting pressure on him. That's just now the residual of me putting pressure on him and now it's coming out and showing itself. So I'm purposely going near his mouth. What's, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Good. In his attacking zone, strike zone. Perfect. There we go. Now when I move, we know he triggers usually. So then I come back in. Right, and that's the trigger. Right, as soon as I reposition and I come forward. But then when I start pressing back and forth, then you're gonna get the explosions, which is normal for him. It's not personal to me. He just can't help it. The brain just triggers when he sees his something closing in on him, bam. Closing it, bam. It's not something he can control yet. That's what I'm packing at, and that's where we're going to work on. But little by little, First objective, first time he hasn't gone after me at all. <laughs> or now the head. Now here, harder. This is much harder. So <laughs> Good boy. See, there's the there's the moment. Once I get in, I have to kind of work this. Good boy. Boy. Good boy. All right. All right. So the objective to this, right? I'm getting so much of my. No conflict, me and him. There's no hanging him, fighting him off. It's just gonna make him worse, right? I gotta get through this quick. So the more I come in, see man, you attack me. I'm not taking it personal. It's fine, I'm still gonna pet you. And I'm gonna be nice to you. <laughs> Even though you're trying to attack me, I'm gonna be nice. I'm not gonna fight you over this. I'm not gonna take it personal and try to beat you back, right? I'm gonna go really low. Okay? Boy. Boy. There, it's there, you want it? Good. Good. Okay? So I'm gonna do a few more, I'm gonna give him a rest, okay? Here we go. You got a now. Yeah. Are you getting Ariel? <laughs> you want to see how the owner stresses more than anybody else? <laughs> All right. So, little by little. Good. But you see, even when I move my arm back away from him over here, usually you're going to get an attack. He didn't do it. So he's holding it off. Right now he's almost about to lay down. Ah. Go ahead, good night. Perfect. All right, just give up, let go. I can feel the breathing on my ankle. Woo! <laughs> I feel the dragon breath. <laughs> All right, and then. Good. Perfect, then we leave him alone. He's close to me, like laying close to me, laying. Tame this dragon. <laughs> All right, so er, so that last time when I went, you see he he almost, but he held it back. All right, and again. Perfect. 
so kind of what we do today, this is where we kind of leave it. I'm going to push him a little more, but we would leave it here on a good note. So like he leaves with no more R, 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 and he just goes away in a passive state like, okay, I'm good, I took it. So the last thing he knows of me, he relaxed, he laid down, he didn't stress out, I pet him, and that's what he walks away with. All right, so the end of class three for Coco. These kind of guys take time. These are not quick one, two, three. Tons of cases that I do, and he's just one of many that I have each week with this particular problem. He's just the one I chose to film. But with these types, you gotta be patient, you gotta hang in there. It's only class three, so really I've only been with him three days for four hours, five hours in total over, so it's not that much. But the objective today was to be able to touch him with the muzzle on and settle him down and allow me to touch him because he hasn't really allowed me. The last class I got in there somewhat, but not completely where he was relaxed. Today, you see from the side, touch, touch, touch. The end there, he lay down, let me pet him from across, which would drive him crazy, pull my arm up over his head, perfect. So with this one, we're gonna go step by step. This takes a little bit. We have many, many things that have to come in for this case. A lot of different things, so I'm the first. Then we have to add more people, more dogs, make him uncomfortable, press him, press him, press him until we crack him eventually, and then he just wants to be pet by everybody and likes life. So that will come in the end, I promise. <laughs> but this, little by little. Most other cases, two classes, three classes with serious aggression, I get it done and I get it fixed. This is gonna be a little bit, but this is normal and I expected this when you take these cases. These are never a one, two, three. I have to play God now and overcome what nature has given us with him and redo life. <laughs> so till next time, Miami Dog Whisperer.